in here. That's island with the Y, not an S. And uh, let's hope this, um, what do you call it? The, uh, the signal, let's hope the signal is gonna be good today. Um, today, the topic is stop letting people invalidate your life experiences, okay? Um, and this is gonna be pretty deep because this is literally my situation right now. As y'all know from my last live video, like, I'm going through a lot. And I'm kind of just winging it with my videos right now. At some point, I do plan to do um, astrology comedy skits and regular comedy skits. And, like, I plan to bring a lot of awesome shit to this channel. But I also got to remember, this channel is called Sydney Island. And so, I can do whatever the fuck I want, <laughs> you know? I can post what I want, when I want. So, hey, my friend Nyan is reaching out to me. Um, anyways, so the topic of the video, don't let people invalidate your life experiences. The reason why I made this topic is because <clears throat> I've had people in my life make me, made me feel that my life experiences were invalid, okay? Part of me wants to just like really go into it and not sugarcoat anything because to be honest, it's just like... I'm not trying to slander anybody's name. I'm just trying to speak my truth. And if you want to see it that way, go right ahead. The people who feel who will feel that way, literally just screw them. They feel that way because they want to feel that way. Not because that's how it really is. So I love my family, but this is my channel and I want to talk about um, the truth. <clears throat> the truth of, you know, what really be going on and will really be going down. Um, and it's not like nobody's the bad guy. Okay. That's the first thing. Nobody's the bad guy. Um, we're all just humans making mistakes. Now, I'm not saying that my family's the bad guy. And I'm the good guy or anything like that. They just don't understand me. And so whenever I go through some hard stuff, it's like, you know how family be like, I told you so that's cool and all, but what about you're going through it anyway? So let me try to help you out of it. Let me try to support you regardless of what I feel about you. You know what I mean? And regardless of my own biased opinions. You know, I'm the type of person where if I see somebody struggling, like really, really struggling, like they about to be homeless, like my situation, like I literally, I, I don't want to go into detail about it, but you know what? Let me just be honest. Let me just be honest in this video. Like I slept at my friend's job like he he works um with like uh you know inpatients like helping patients and he stays at a house and helps them or whatever and i slept at his job because i didn't have anywhere else to go and i gotta be honest on my channel like that's that's what my channel has been about since day one is being honest it's about it's about honesty and it's about authenticity and i'm not gonna come on this channel and pretend like i don't feel the way i feel just because other people don't want me to talk about it because whatever for whatever reason that's you but this is me. This is my life. I'm grown and I can talk about whatever I want. And if it bothers you, don't watch my shit. That's how I feel. So my issue with my family and I love them is that whenever I'm going through something, it is always just kind of like, well, you put yourself in that situation. The thing is, is that all the, the hard, difficult times that, you know, you experience in your life, you put yourself in that situation, too. We all put ourselves in difficult situations. Most of the time when we're going through something is, is because of a choice that we made. That's all human beings. So empathize with me because the mistakes that you made when you was younger, I'm making those mistakes now. You know what I'm saying? Is Y'all yeah, y'all can see where I'm going with this. It'd be like parents who made horrible mistakes when they were younger. And then you, you, you young, right? Doing the same thing, making the same mistakes. Some mistakes different. And they judge you like as if they just got this clean, clear slate. And that I will never understand. How you can dog on yourself for the mistakes that you have made in your life. And then judge somebody else when they making their mistakes. I don't get it. And I, and, and I just, I got to let it out. I can't keep on holding my stuff back because of what somebody else feel or think about me. Especially people who don't even support me, bro. People who watch my channel and they're just like, mm, I don't like what you do here. I don't like what you do there. Like complete lack of support. 
and I'm over here, hmm, well, let me respect well, let me respect their wishes and not film this because they feel some type of way, even though they're not paying for the camera that I'm filming on. They're not helping me with this channel. Screw you. If you ain't helping me with my channel, I ain't trying to respect you. You know what I'm saying? If you over here trying to disrespect what I got going on, I don't have to respect your name or your title. And, you know... That's what it is. I don't want to get too much into it because that's negative energy and I'm really trying to be in a positive mood. I got a job interview coming up soon and I just want to be in a good mood. You know what I mean? But it's like some stuff really do be weighing on me. When I wake up in the morning, I'll be thinking about it. What time is it? I want to make sure this. I know it's not nine o'clock. I know it's not. I got to make sure that. I can't even check the time when I go live. Okay, whatever. I, I got to trust. I trust. But anyways... Stop letting people invalidate your life experiences. Your pain is valid. Everything that you're going through is real. Just because people want to act like, oh, that ain't nothing. Oh, I've been through worse. So? So what? I'm still going through the pain. Pain is pain. Ain't no such thing as cute pain. Ain't no such thing as pretty pain. Pain is pain. Empathize. That'd be my problem. And I'm not perfect. I am not perfect. I went off on my mom the other day, and I said things that I shouldn't have said. And I had to ask God for forgiveness. I am not perfect. I should have been more focused on respecting her in that situation because I was reaching out uh, for help from her. But it's like I got to give myself a pat on the back for even having that thought. You know, I got to pat myself on the back for even for even being able to 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 realize that I was wrong and for for, for asking for forgiveness. That's what this journey is about. It's about compassion for yourself. Because at the end of the day, you could be, man, a lot of us walk around wanting compassion from other people, wanting validation from other people, and then they don't give it. And then we're like, oh, no, and we crushed. You don't want that. That's, that's, that's going to put you in a vulnerable state. That's going to make you weak. And the crazy thing is, you know, the way I carry myself out here in this world, people, they see me as like soft and I am soft. I am a Taurus, I'm, but, I, I'm, but I'm also a Taurus. So I'm hard at the same time. Like I'm soft and I'm hard. Like I'm very aggressive when it comes to, you know, stand up for what I believe in. But at the same time, sometimes I don't stand up for what I believe in enough. And then I let people take advantage of me. That's the complexities of being human. Okay. Sometimes you one way and other times you another way. We are opposites within one body, okay? And I feel like that me coming on here, I'm just letting it out and I'm not trying to be one way. I'm not gonna sit up here and be like, I'm always soft all the time or I'm always hard. Like, no, I'm, I'm a mixture of both, okay? Sometimes I'm too submissive and sometimes I go too hard and I say things that I shouldn't say, okay? So I'm just, I'm being raw. Like I'm, I'm always very raw and honest on this channel because it's like, shit, like why pretend? I know that the shit that I'm talking about, somebody relates to it. Somebody's like, girl, me too. <laughs> girl, me too. I'm the same way. Sometimes I'm too aggressive. And sometimes I'm too soft. But I'm making this video as a way to not invalidate my life experiences. And I also want to say you don't need validation from nobody because then you get that validation from them and then, okay, cool. But if you don't validate your own life experiences, you're always going to be beating yourself up. You're always going to be bullying yourself at times when you don't need to. Like that's, that's when people be committing suicide and getting hooked on drugs and all types of stuff because they're being hard on themselves in a time where they should be compassionate towards themselves. You know, you make a mistake and that's just how the world is, man. It's crazy. But like you make a mistake. Let's say you get into a fight with your parents and you say some mean shit. You should acknowledge your wrongs, forgive yourself and then give yourself love. Bruh, give yourself love because that's the whole point. You was arguing with your family because you wanted them to love you. And now you realize they may maybe they can't give you the love that you want. Accept that and give yourself the love that you want. You got to get to know yourself like the 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 African proverb know thyself that's some real shit know yourself know what kind of love you want understand yourself have compassion for yourself 
So y'all be getting messages. But have compassion for yourself, man. And I'm talking to myself when I'm making this video. I'm talking to myself because I'm very hard on myself. I'm an earth sign, earth rising, okay? That's one thing about earth signs. Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, very hard on ourselves. I'm a Taurus sign with a Virgo rising. We really want to be the best that we can be. And the crazy thing about it is, the whole time, we be the best that we can be. It won't even be knowing it. I'm really the best that I can be right now. I, I am. And, but, on, but on the flip side, there's always going to be a, a part of me that feel like I'm not doing enough. But right now in this moment, screw that. I got to I got to I got to give it to myself in this moment. I am doing enough, goddammit. I am doing a freaking enough. I am a human being. I don't have big giant wings. I can just fly wherever I want to go. But I got power. Cuz I can manifest whatever the fuck I want when I want to. I did it yesterday. I needed $60 to pay my phone bill. And I got exactly that. I told myself I'm going to have this exact amount before this date and that exact thing happened because I believed in my ability to manifest. And if you keep beating yourself up over your past mistakes, you're going to screw up your ability to manifest. That's the truth. How do I know this? Experience. I know I'm wise for a 26 year old. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but seriously, y'all, like... Ugh. I'm feeling myself right now. Like, I really am feeling what I'm saying. Because I know that I'm speaking from my heart. And people can feel that. People can feel it when you speak it from your heart and when you just making some shit up. But y'all, I have been through so much that I, I can't fake it. I don't care to fake it. My pain is real. But it's not only pain, though. My miracles is real, too. My blessings is real, too. I got to focus on that more because sometimes I get in my head and I think about that negative and it's like, no, let's not do that. Too much good shit has just been happening in your life. Don't focus on the negative, girl. So I'm proud of myself. I, this is this is a give it to yourself moment. Validate your own life experiences. Don't try to get it for nobody else. And it's hard out here, man. Because when I was going through it, I was going through like, Yesterday, I just felt nervous and I just felt like I really need company. And, and, and you know, thank you so much to my friend Tiffany for, for being by my side, you know, through that that journey. And, and she's still by my side. And it's like, that's all you need sometimes, just one good friend to just talk, to just be in your ear. <sighs> Telling you positive. It makes me emotional because it's like... <laughs> Sometimes that's, that's all I want. And that's all we as a collective want. Because life is hard. It's, it's not easy. And we all do just stuff, messed up stuff. Some people have remorse and some people don't. But the fact that the matter is, is like, it just means so much for somebody to just be able to just be right there by your side saying, girl, you got this. Like, and it, and it really meant a lot. It, it meant so much. And I want to be that to somebody else. I want to overcome every, all this stuff that I'm going through. I want to overcome it and be able to be that kind of friend to somebody else and I know I will be so yeah <laughs> I get emotional y'all but it's just a mixture of feelings and I know I'm elevating I know that it's, it's only a matter of time before all of my hard work pays off And the crazy thing about it is you'll have people rooting for you behind closed doors. Like, we always talk about people plotting for your downfall behind closed doors. But we don't talk about the people that be rooting for you behind closed doors. Because, like, I just found out my friend Robert literally, like, he did a kind gesture for me. And, you know, he went up to a, one of the managers at this job. It was like, please, like, give her a job, help her out. And I quit. I quit that job. And he just told me that yesterday, last night, over a blunt. 
<laughs> and I was just like, I felt like I let him down. But you know, it is what it is. Like, I just couldn't handle it in the moment. But it's just kind of like, that's like a, a prime example of somebody rooting for you behind closed doors, like doing some, some good shit. Like, we, it's just this world, the consciousness of this planet just be so negative and people focus so much on the negative and it's like, they're, <sighs> yin and yang, y'all, dark and light. If there is somebody plotting for your downfall behind closed doors, there is somebody rooting for your victory behind closed doors. That is just how the universe works and vice versa. You can't have one without the other. That's the law of the universe. So just know that when you get low and you get down and you feel depressed and you feel suicidal, just know that the opposite is 100% an option. You feel like you love life. You're feeling happy. That's an option. It's always an option. The opposite is always an option. Duality. You got to understand the duality of the universe, duality of, of, of life, the duality of spirituality, the duality of reality. You cannot have one without the other. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that's pretty much what I got to say about that. I'm trying to make sure that I'm, I'm going to get to work on time, but this, this is only 15 minutes and I, I started my live at like eight, so... But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come on live and vent. Thank y'all for those three thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll probably only be on here for like another five minutes. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to ask me right now in this chat. If you just want to hype me up and say, girl, you're looking fine today and you're going to do well on your interview. If you want to say that, I, <laughs> I will accept it, okay? But I don't need it because I got that right here. I got it right here in my heart. You know, so yeah, <sighs> it's a time. It's definitely a time. Y'all can y'all can see it. You can see it in my eyes. You can see it in my soul. You're all I ever wanted. Yes, girl. This is the time. A time to sing for the people. For the people, there's a part of my eye freestyle. Right on about everything, girl. Thank you, Violet. I love that name, by the way. I love the name Violet, and I love the color Violet. It's one of my favorite colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying what y'all already know. I'm just saying what y'all already know and what y'all already feel. You know what I'm saying? You just forgot. Okay. You just forgot that you knew it. You just forgot that you was the shit. You know you the shit. You just forgot. That's all that is. That's how I see most of thing. Because I do think we are all gods. And before we came here, before we reincarnated down here, we knew we was the shit. We knew he was powerful, but we came down here to a lower frequency and got deceived by the media, by our parents, by peers at school, into thinking that we wasn't good enough. It's all bull crap. It's an illusion that, that you're not good enough. That's just an illusion. You're literally a god, okay? You're, you're a god. Accept that. You know it, too. You know you're a god. You just forgot. That's that's what it's all about. We all know we gods. We all know we powerful. We just forgot. We used to know before we came here. We know we can manifest our you know our wildest desires. We just forgot. What's up? I can't. I always call you Israel, Israel, because I I really I can't pronounce your first name. But what's up, Israel? How you doing? I'm doing good. That's what's up with me. I'm, I'm struggling right now, but I know that it's only temporary. And I do get the feeling that it's going to be over really soon. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to be over sooner than expected. Like, the struggle is going to be over sooner than expected. And pretty soon, I'm going to be living up. I'm going to be living it up. You said, I'm good. That's good. That's good. You are good. We are good, y'all. We got to tell each other that. We got to remind each other that we are powerful. We are good. We are happy. We got to do that, man. Oh, 
I'm feeling that energy. I'm feeling that energy. Like, y'all be getting downloads. <laughs> like, that energy, like, I just heard a voice say, like, Sydney, like, you are going to, he said, I hear you. I heard, I heard a download that said, that said, Sydney, you are going to uh, be somebody that people are really going to rely on. You know, people are really going to need your energy. People are really going to need your words and your personal life. Because I see how, you know, how y'all are on my live and how I feed y'all a certain energy. And y'all just receive it so well. And y'all feed me a certain energy. And it's just like, it just it's good. It's just good. I love going live. And um, yeah, that's what I heard. That there's going to be people out there. It's going to be like, girl, I need you. I need your advice. Because right now I'm in a situation where I'm hitting other people up like, yo, I need you. I need money. I need a place to stay. But it's going to get to a point where people are going to hit me up. And be like, hey, Sydney, I just need your presence. I just need your presence. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, Lord. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Praise God. That's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> and, and it's, hey, listen, duality, if it's going to be for me, it's going to be for you. How are you, Sid? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm really good. Good things are coming. My blessings are on their way. So I'm going to go ahead and end this live just because I got this job interview soon, and I really want to be on time. All right. So uh, I will go live many, many more times. This has been an amazing live just because i just feel good you know and uh good things are coming my way and if good things are coming my way good things are coming your way because you know the whole term um the whole term guilty by association you're blessed by association all right so thank y'all for watching this video uh give it a thumbs up you said good luck you got this thank you thank you so much rusoka you will get it i know i'm gonna get this job y'all i know i'm gonna get it it's good Life is good. Thank y'all so much for all your love and support. I love y'all. Love yourselves. Love life. Bye-bye.